Hey guys, it's Buddy702 here, and welcome back to Sky K. Today is episode 2, and we are starting things off in my base, which is looking quite different compared to last time. But first off, first things first, I thought I'd just pop over to P War Profit, and I am going to donate quite a large quantity of wood to Mimilu. I'm sorry if I've said that incorrect, but this is what I'm going to be donating. I'm going to be donating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, I just counted out 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 stacks of wood. And I'm just going to message them now, and I'll be back with you guys once I've messaged them. So today, I thought we are going to be working on a lovely kelp farm. It's got plenty of resources for that there. And then that's going to be a very quick little time lapse getting that there all together. And then we're going to get into building ourselves a lovely shop. Well, yeah, I need to get a bit of shop than what I have right now, which I'll show you guys that in a tick. I'll just let all this here process through. And I'll be with you guys shortly back at my base. Okay, everyone, we are now back here at my base. You can see there has been quite a bit of work done. Well, not really too much work done. Since last episode, I've finally got some little tiny turtle eggs hatching there, a little tiny AFK farm. This little one here that doesn't work at all because it just pushes over and just all clogs up. And then I've got my mess of, like, chests everywhere. A little furnace system set up and a little tiny, yeah, sugarcane farm with some what's called kelp plants below it so yeah that's all really that's all really what i've done and then p warp grind my shop which is just oh let's just get rid of those there my little tiny shop that is, is a hole in the roof um that, that's, that's not meant to be there let's just cover that there up so no one can get out we've got all the little warps here or player warps or like just say like ever p go p warp avocado it's a shop it's an item and they have many books here and the own owner is t avocado and i'm sorry if that's incorrect and then we've got a little enchanting table i managed to put down here but today as i said we're going to start work on a new and improved shop which is going to be pretty much getting all cleared down and it's going to be hiding sort of underneath here have i chopped part of this tree down by the looks Yes, I have it look quite ugly, so I'll probably end up getting rid of the rest of that there. But I'm planning to have my shop laying in between this area here. So I was going to get rid of the rest of this here. And it's going to be sitting around this area here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have it so people can get in or out. Let's just turn that down just a little bit. I'm not sure if people are going to be able to get out of my shop or not. But... This is where it's going to be sitting, and it's just going to have a decent size, like, width between it. So we want to go along, and it's going to be sitting along in between here, and it's going to be going right back into the cliff face here. And I was going to have it so that it would overlook, or be leaning over top, and have a little glass window looking out. And I'm also going to have... A big wall in there dedicated to all the P warps, all my chair shops put into place. But first off, I thought we need to start work on a lovely kelp farm, which I was going to place directly underneath here. Was that. Did I hear eggs crack? That shouldn't be now because it's the drone. Night time. But first off, we are going to start work on a kelp farm, and I've built this before on my survival series in vanilla. And also on the, what's the server called? Kite MC, I think, is it Kite MC? I think it's what, I think it's called Kite MC. So that's, we're going to be placing it along here. And it's just going to be running along the side here, going along. But then now I think about it, that there looks nice there. And we can do other bits underneath there. That there being risen up. I think I'm going to build it into the bank case. It's going to go down. It's going to go on the levels here, and then we'll have a wall going up along here. And I believe the design is done by... The design is done by CubFam135. So it's going to be quite a decent sized farm. I'm hoping it's going to go fully along here. 
but I need to just double check which way the furnace array is going to go because I'm going to have an automatic furnace system set up for that there and it's going to be quite a massive farm. So I'm going to go ahead and watch the video just to revise on how to do it again and I'll be back with you guys once I have made up all the lovely observers, the pistons and I should have enough redstone lying around in chess, so I just have to go ahead and find it. And I'll see you guys back in a few milliseconds. Okay, everyone, I've decided where we're going to be putting the kelp farm. It is going to be going down through here, going around here, and then we're going to have our furnace array system placed down this side here or over this side here. I'm not exactly sure. So this is where we're going to start building it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start clearing out this entire area. And well, I might put another clip of me saying to place it together, but I'll see what happens. Because I don't want to be, have this video to drag on too long. So I'm going to go ahead and get this place ready for our farm to start going in. See you guys again very shortly. Okay everyone, this is what this place is now looking like. Looking nice and pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of the build, fill it up with water, add in the kelp, and then I'm probably going to have it flow over and just drop down onto an ice water stream here. And then I'll probably hide the furnace system down here so it's not as ugly and doesn't require too much more digging down the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Okay, everyone, it has been <laughs> four or five hours since that last clip. And I've managed to gather up all the items for my furnace array, which I am in the process of building very shortly. I have also nearly completed this here. I've just got to put in the centre wall, fill it up with water, and then it'll be done. It's just been painful taking how like it's taken just such a long time to try and get all my supplies up. It's it's been a very very long run. So yeah, it's. Yeah, I'm going to probably finish off for the night, and I'll hopefully get this done tomorrow afternoon when I'm back on online. I really, I really hope I'm going to get it done anyway, because I need to try and get this video out in the next couple of days, because it, sometimes it takes me a couple of days just to, like, I was filming little clips, and I'm not sure if I'm going to, be able to start on the shop or not. I'll just see how long these clips are going to be. But anyway, I'm going to do another time jump. And when you guys see me next, this farm should be 100% completed and pushing out dried kelp blocks. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, everyone, this is now complete. After eight hours, it is finally producing plenty of kelp and I'm not exaggerating with eight hours I'll just go ahead and get a lot more iron because I ran out halfway through the project because it's got about 20 20 observers and 20 pistons each layer so that chews through quite a bit you can see the kelp dropping down through there and if we pop around here I'm going to terraform on the CX it's pretty ugly right now we can pop down into our lovely furnace room made out of a diorite we can see the furnaces smelting all the bits here. So one dry kelp block would smelt 20. And this little hopper minecart here can fit exactly what would be here. It would be 20 items per furnace. So that's all perfect. And then if we hop up here, we can see where the hopper minecart falls up over here. And actually drains this out surprisingly quick. So this is all I've done so far. Redecorated all of this here. And obviously missed a few patches here for some reason let's just let's fix that there up so next off on the list for today's episode is to start planning my shop out because as you guys seen we've got that little manky little little shop up over there and we need something that looks a lot more nicer and appealing for people so I'm going to go ahead and get some resources and we're going to start work on laying out the new shop design. And I've come up with some more ideas overnight when I've slept through so I have a room. So it's going to be quite simple really. Get a cut, well you're going to spawn in on a platform up here. You're not going to be able to get out and look out the base or anything. So you're going to walk down, you're going to have all your chests either side. An open window which is going to look out over here. Um, some 
my rear grindy items up the front here. Then you're going to turn, there's going to be, you know, walk in and there's going to be two ways that split off into builds and shops, which are going to be all on the wall. And I'll do an explanation of what those are. And I'm not the best at building, but we're going to see what it's going to turn out. So I'll see you guys very shortly. It looks like Jack Sucks at MC has just joined the server, as we can see up here, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool that he's just joined the server there. And as you guys can see, I am pretty much... Well, I am missing quite a lot of my stuff here. That's because I died. I essentially jumped into a a looted a looted uh, temple. Uh, what are they called? They are sand temples. I forgot what they're desert temples. That's what they're called. Is that correct? I'm not sure. But I jumped into one because I thought, oh, here's a couple of chests down the bottom. Let's just see if there's anything in there. And I fell right to my death. So, oops. What did I just do? Back to game. Okay, it was good. So for the last one hour and 59 minutes, I have been going to the mining world, going in, running around the desert like a psycho person, trying to find where I died, essentially. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. I've been doing... Yeah, I just got my items back. And I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm getting them back. Like, I'm looking for a place with the acacia biome. Is it acacia? The savannah. A river that goes along like this here. And then it pops up onto a little flat area. And the desert temple is like right there. So what I have been doing is... It could, it could be that way there. As I have been running around the outside of the savannah biomes. Trying to find where I died. It, it has been painful. I've nearly come close to dying several times. It's, it's not a fun task at all. I just... I should just give up, really. But I have been determined to try and find it, and... Well, it's not over here, because I don't recognise any of this area. Well, it is... 11.20pm at night. So I've been looking for it since 8 o'clock? No, that's not correct, is it? 9 o'clock? 10? 11? Yeah, pretty much since 9 o'clock and no luck so far. Good thing is, is that I've managed to run along and pick up bits of garbage that are along. So quite a bit of interesting things what people drop there, but that's all really. It's just jumping around, eating golden carrots. And that's what I've been managing to do, which is very, very sad. So I'm going to go ahead and continue jumping up and around, looking for my items. And I don't think I'm about to find them. I'm not going to be able to find them at all, so it's going to be very sad. But I need to get back and start working on my shop very shortly. So I'm going to see you guys back there. And yeah. I'm not, I'm not really the best. I sure wouldn't take a lot to replace them though. For pretty simple items. So yeah, I'll see you guys back on the main island. Okay everyone, it has just about... What? Okay everyone, it is now two minutes to midnight. And I want to try and get this video done. And well, it might come out Thursday anyway. But I thought we should first off start planning where this shop is going to go. So we've got the wits here. So my main plan was that we're going to have pretty much an entire shop going along. And it's just going to be designed so we have got like a decent size platform that goes around the front. And it just goes back. Now the shop is going to be based around a single block in size. And yes, I have just managed to get myself some new tools up and going. And well, yeah, they're, they're, they're okay. They're not they're not the best. I've lost all my silk touch, my fortune pickaxes, and all that. If you guys can hear me over the sound of all of this breaking dirt. So this is an area where I'm planning to chuck in the shop. Don't sure, not even sure if this is really even. 
I'm just going to be going down and I'm going to plan to have a three wide gap down the middle and also we're going to have a chest here, here, here so I have like a little wall going in between but my plan was for this area about here was to have a decent sized gap so we'll have it chucked in so two, two and it's going to walk in player will walk in to a pathway that will come in and go along here so this is going to be a wall getting placed in along here and this is where we're going to have the instructions so this will come and stick out to about two blocks out from here and in but well, it's going to stick out sort of even ish but just by one more block and then coming into coming in behind here will be a giant room and this is where we will be putting in all our P warps so our player warps so we'll have all this here dug out into the bank and we may eventually expand it out even more so these player warps is going to have quite a large wall and it's going to be just displays for a shop here then if we go along and then we have in this bit here dug through we are going to have one set up for all these shops we will also go in behind this wall for the shops because it's going to be quite a large one here now the shop is going to have a lovely spawn point so that will be like built up so we have it like up just a little more higher except this will be all stairs just say so we we'll have a spawn point that is up a little bit higher so you'd walk in go down the stairs and we'll have a selection of products going down the edge here and then out looking here we are going to have like a little what's going to be built up just a little bit around here and then we're going to have like a giant glass panel going up so I think I'm going to have the building is going to be made mainly out of stone bricks and also some lovely spruce logs I'm going to have a bit of a mossy cobble going in through there cobblestone some diorite in it there and a bit of spruce leaves so I have them dripping down from the ceiling but that's all I'm really planning to do today because I'm not exactly sure what else to do and I see that Jack has now since left the server or he's either gone into vanish mode which I'm not sure about but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and well I'm probably going to end it off here and I'm going to go ahead and do some more planning and start laying out where the shop will be going and then in the next episode we will begin work on the shop and that's what it's going to be pretty much focused all around. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and let's cue that outro. You can be my new